Hello friends, it's Jana. Today I am going to repot three plants on a hanging basket. So this is the hanging basket that I'm going to use and this is from Emerging Green right here. They sent me this 12 inch hanging basket, perfect size for the plants that I'm thinking of repotting today. So friends, Emerging Green is a small family run business that is based in Singapore. 75% of their products are made of biodegradable and sustainable source. So check their website friends as they carry a lot of cool stuff and not just for garden but a lot more. So check them out friends. I will leave their website link down below. So this is my setup here. I have my Lazy Susan that I always use and here is these bottom saucer of my terracotta pots and since the bottom here is not flat I'm going to set this on here so that it wouldn't wobble when I plant the plants here so I got the soil right here and I have the two six inch pot of Hindu rope plant which I have not taken care of for a long time because this is outside in my patio because i don't want it to infect my other plants it got sick before i sprayed it with neem oil so today this is another rescue repot video with this plant because i just want to take this out of this six inch pot and give it a fresh new soil and spray more of the neem oil after because it's a bug magnet friends this likes to give bug a home especially with its coral leaves this is the other one that i have the curly leaf is a perfect hiding spot for mealybugs, so this is going to get transferred today. Now, I'm going to show you the ones that I tossed outside and decided to bring it to show you. Bring it in today. Here it is. This is a little pale because of more sun that it gets. It gets sunny, it gets wet, so it's spotty. But friends, this is the new growth. Here is why I brought it in to show you peduncle it already lose some of it see the um, peduncles right here is missing some bloom yeah it already fell but friends this is why I still I'm in love with Hindu ropes because of this beautiful bloom and actually friends I am seeing more of a peduncles on this other one that I am repotting today so let's start repotting and maybe i can find that peduncle again and show you where that went this is so dusty and sad plants but it's gonna look pretty once i'm done with this one so right. i'm just gonna take away the dirt out of here so let me dump it in a trash can this is what the roots look like in this plant so i'm gonna break it apart here is the roots on this one, friends. Now I'm gonna go with the next one. Now here are the roots of the second one. Now here it is, right here. Let's start. putting them over here so this is actually a different mixture that I'm using friends this has pea bark and perlite on this type of a mixture and I found my other Hoyas loved it and I also used this on my other Hindu rope and it kind of liked it friends so i might keep on using this this is a very well draining soil too so we'll see how this one goes probably add more here friends so I'm gonna grab another plant to add in here seems like I could add one more six inch right here 
So I just decided to add the ones with the bloom friends to get it more fuller on the top. The roots on this one. Now here it is. And I'm gonna start putting it together. Start with this one here. just how it is that's how I do things sometimes or most of the time can you keep it neat just make a mess all right there's the one with the bloom I'm gonna put in here so this is where the hope is so I'm gonna try to put this one to the outer end that way it doesn't get hurt It has the bloom and it is special because she has bloom. So let's do this right here. Okay, let's see. It is so long that it has a hard time spinning. Ah, I'm up my table. Okay, here. Now, you see this one, friends? I'm gonna need to add some soil in here. Maybe if I could just move all this around. So, I don't want to put too much soil on the top here because I don't want it to overflow. And since it's in a hanging basket, it will bring a lot of mess when it falls down, especially with the wind. So, I'm thinking of maybe adding bark on the top here later on. But I still do need to um, push this down a bit down there a little bit more this one a little bit down here more okay. Okay. and I'm gonna add some soil just try to push it down here give it more soil Make sure this has soil right here too. Add more in there. So I'm just gonna add this bark up here. I'm gonna add it everywhere. That way it could cover some of the soil so we wouldn't spill or splash when I water them and when it rains and it does help with um, keeping it pretty and have the roots climbing on it too this is an orchid mix bark that I'm using friends They like it with this, so some of my homeless always have this toppings with this type of um, bark mix. Now right here. And this is it. I guess that's it for this one, friends. I'll show you when I hang this. Now the second plant that I'm going to repot today is this scissors this color. Friends, this is such a beautiful plant. Look at how beautiful she is. I'm gonna show you this one. The biggest leaf that I currently have is this one, friends. Look at how big that is. This is my hand and look at that one, right? It is so big. So this one is going to my school room. I'm not gonna repot this one today. I'm just gonna show you that because she's so beautiful. So that stays there. This one is what I'm going to repot are the long ones, the very long ones. So I probably don't need to um, take away all the soil on this 
But this is also a bug magnet, friends. The mealy bugs like to live behind its leaves, friends. So you could see some mealy bugs sticking right there. That's where we belong. <laughs> they like to um, stay there. So what I normally do is spray them with neem oil. Sometimes I, uh, before I do the neem oil, I spray them with hose too, and then spray it with neem oil. So here's another one. So this is from a uh, four-inch pot, friends. This is its roots on this one. So that's where it's going, right here. So we'll see how many we can fit on this planter here since it is not a lot of um, stems on this I would like to fill this hanging basket with a lot of them next one right here some of its leaves friends are not so beautifully vibrant because some of this plants are in my um, shelving where it doesn't get a lot of sunlight. It does get morning sun but it's just like an hour or two. And I noticed that it gets dark where I put it right away even though it is still um, east side but it's got a lot of shade on the area. So I transferred it to where it gets more sunlight and it decided to um, show its vibrant colors and actually giving me more of a uh, stem actually. I'm gonna put this in the middle because it's a lot of stem on this one. So this goes in the middle right here. I also have placed some of them in a trellis friends because I want it to trail up. And this one is going to be in this hanging basket because I want to see how it grows on it. So I probably would take some of this old leaf right here. I'm going to take some of the soil out of this one. It's getting full. I don't want to disturb some of its roots. So let's start filling this up. I'm like going to the edge here now. <laughs> Moving them a lot. Right, guys, there. Oh, it's gonna start to fill up so, so quick. Alright. There it is. Here it is. Getting in there. So let's gonna add a top dressing. So I also added some bark mix in here, but not so much though. Because I ran out. <laughs> that's what happened. But that's good enough for now and I'll show you what I hang it because this is gonna be um, where I hang it. It's not gonna get too much of uh, water when it rains anyways. All right. Now the third plant that I'm going to repot is the Silver Satin Pothos. Such a beautiful plant with its very big leaves and I just love the look of this plant and it's so full. So look at this. The roots are sticking out so I'm gonna have to repot this. Right now, look at friends. So if you notice that the leaves of your plants is getting very clean and also um, what you call that wrinkly and thirsty looking you, you need to check its roots because you know, it needs to get repotted very soon so we've got this big plant also notice the orange on its brown on its leaf let's just leave it alone for right now. Let's do this other plant too. 
me get this other one. It's very long. Let's look at the roots on this one. It is also sticking out. So let's put this right here. Wow. dressing or anything the leaves are big enough to um, cover the top the way it doesn't have too much water falling in or spilling any wings overflow whatever spill whatever you call it all right friends well let me water it and i'll show you where i hang it so i just watered them up friends they are ready to get hanged up that's the hoya hindu rope right here next is the silver satin potos and the last one that i did is the scissors this color let's hang them up here they are i love it friends it's so beautiful i just love this planter and it has great quality too so if you like this type of a planter that I have below is a 10% coupon code and the link of Emerging Green down below. Check them out friends. I cannot wait to see what you got and what you plant in these planters. Have a great day. Happy planting. Bye bye.